And here we're going to do a, an interesting little example in order for us to find the density of the molecules or the atmosphere on Mars. I know this is a chemistry class, but hey, there's a nice little relationship because what we're trying to do here is find the density, not in terms of kilograms per cubic meters, but in terms of the number of molecules per unit volume. And we're going to do it in terms of molecules per cubic centimeter. Again, we need to use the definition. In this case, it's not going to be the true definition of the density because it's not going to be the proper units. It's number of molecules per unit volume instead of mass per unit volume. But we will need to use the PV equals NRT equation, the ideal gas equation, and the uh, definition that the number of moles is equal to the ratio of the number of molecules in the gas divided by Avogadro's number. So we need to replace this N by this quantity right here. So we have PV is equal to the number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number times the gas constant times the temperature. So now we somehow have to take this equation and have it in, and rearrange it in terms of N over V. So we want V down here and everything else on the other side. So we have P, Avogadro's number, goes to the numerator. We divide by RT. And on the right side of the equation, we still have the number of molecules. And we bring the volume down to the denominator like that. So that means that we can take this and substitute it in for N over V. That means that the density we're looking for is equal to the pressure times Avogadro's number divided by the gas constant times the temperature. Now we're dealing with Mars here and the temperature in Mars is a lot colder than it is on Earth. So let's say that hmm, temperature is equal to minus 60 degrees centigrade and of course if you want to convert that to Kelvin that would be equal to uh, let's say 273 minus 60 Kelvin, which is equal to 213 Kelvin. So that's converting from centigrade degrees to Kelvin degrees. We simply take the centigrade degrees and subtract it from 273. All right, now we're ready to plug this in. The pressure on Mars, there's another thing. What is the pressure on Mars? It turns out the pressure on Mars is only 0.6%, six tenths of a percent, the pressure on Earth. So it's equal to 0 0.006 times one atmosphere on the Earth. Wow, so 0 0.006 times one atmosphere, which is 101,325 pascals, times the number of Avogadro, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, divide that by the gas constant, which is 8.314, that's joules per mole times Kelvin, and then we multiply times the temperature, which we estimate to be about 213 Kelvin. Of course, on a nice summer day, it's a little warmer than that on Mars, but hey, it can get pretty cold, and definitely get colder than that in the wintertime. All right, calculator. 0 0.006 times 101,325 times 6 e to the 20, ooh, 6.02, 6.02 e to the 23rd, divide by 8.2. 314 and divide by 213 and so what we get here is this is equal to 2.07 times 10 to the 23rd molecules per cubic meter right so we have molecules per standard volume of cubic meters if we now want to convert that to cubic centimeters we have to convert use a conversion factor cubic centimeters at the bottom cubic meters at the top one cubic meter is one million cubic centimeters, which means we have to take that, divide by million, so divide by one, zero, 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 zero equals, and we get 2.07 times 10 to the 17th molecules per cubic centimeter. Wow, that's amazing. Because even on Mars, when they land spacecraft on Mars, they used all kinds of techniques. They used big parachutes. They used those little bubble wraps that, you know, they, they uh, release themselves on the parachute. They go falling on the surface and bounce for like a half a mile till they come to a rest. It's very difficult to land on Mars because there's almost no atmosphere. Yet, with almost no atmosphere, atmosphere being less than 1% atmospheric pressure of the Earth, there's still 2 times 10 to the 17 molecules for every cubic centimeter. And a cubic centimeter is only about this big. So there's still that many molecules in the atmosphere around Mars 
for every cubic centimeter. Wow, that's amazing. But another good example of how to find the density of a gas.